Given a vertex, 2 comma 3, find the equation of the parabola through the point 0, 2. Here is the tutorial. Sorry, but I get really annoyed when people explain a math topic and it's so boring to them. Um, or at least maybe not even boring to them, but they sound so boring, right? It's, it's amazing. So I, I try to always make sure that I'm excited and ready for you, even though I'm just saying stuff to my screen. But I hope you are at home enjoying some of the videos and are really interested, really intrigued to learn about how to solve this problem. So I'm here to help you, and I want to try to make it enjoyable. So I'll try to always change it up for you. So what we need to do is we're given a vertex and we're given a point. And if we want to find the equation of the line, or the equation of the parabola, I'm sorry, what we need to do is say, all right, well, if I want to find the equation of the parabola, first of all, what does the equation of the parabola look like? And I'm going to go through the two, two some equations that we've worked with. First, the definition of a parabola, which was ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, a cannot equal 0. The next definition we worked on was f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And what was so special about this one, the reason why we're like, why do you even need to know standard form? We know that's a quadratic. Why do we need to know this quadratic? Well, that quadratic told us easily, right out in front, right in front of our eyes, the vertex was h comma k. So it's like, oh, OK, so now if I can put my parabola in that form, I can determine what the vertex is. That's why we spend so much time completing the square to put it into that form. So if we are given the vertex, I'm probably going to want to use the vertex form because you know, right now I need to find a formula. I need something. I need to be plugging some, uh, some values in. So what I have now is f of x equals, I don't know what a is. a is going to remember me my dilations. But my vertex can be x minus 2 squared plus 3. Remember, your vertex and the vertex in the formula are opposite, right? So you're going to be opposite signs. So I have f of x equals a times x minus 8 squared plus 3. And then it says, find the equation of the parabola through the point. So I got to make sure I take it, uh, take my parabola. It has to go through a point. Remember, parabola is made up of infinite many points, right? Infinite many points it contains. But if it contains that one point, when you plug in that point in for x and y, it makes your parabola true. Well, before we can make our parabola true, we still do not need to find, we still do not know the value of a. So I need to plug in some values for x and f of x to solve for the value of a. Now, remember, I keep on saying x and y, but really, since we're talking about a function, our coordinate points are made up of x and f of x, as x is your input and f of x is going to be your output. So now what I'll do is I'll plug 2 in for f of x equals a, which I still don't know. I'll plug 0 in for x. And now I can solve for a. Uh, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. So 2 equals 4a. I'll switch those around. Plus 3. Subtract 3. Get negative 1 equals 4a. Divide by 4. a equals negative 1 fourth. All right? So now I know the value of a. To write my equation, I have all the space over here, so I'll use it. I can write f of x equals my a, which is a negative 1 fourth, times x. Minus, because remember, we're still going to go back to x and f of x because our equation of line contains infinite many points. x minus 0, so x minus 0 is just x, so we can write x squared. And where am I looking? For my k, plus 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is our equation of your line. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment and subscribe. Love you.